course the morning start with the basically primitives so we need to convert these primitives and uh, work on that primitives to make them an actual module so let's start uh, that process the easiest way to work on a pre primitive uh, to work on a modifier is to apply them a primitive so let's start with the maximum number of rows let's start with the cylinder just to maximize the perspective viewport and draw a cylinder give the height to him come on to the command just go to modifier and uh, set the radius about uh, 7 and the height uh, about that's the line okay so let's work on that okay now as you can see we are on the modify panel just go back to the creation panel and as you can see this uh, setting has disappeared that means we had created our model or object just go to the modifier pan modify panel as you can see here is the name of the object and that is cylinder 01 this is the modifier list we can choose the modifiers from this list and uh, down this is the parameters of this object we can set the radius we can set the height we don't need a lot of height in that video and uh, we can set the height segment you can see better by pressing F5 on your keyboard <coughs> and uh, we can set the cap segment and uh, everything is just uh, we can change the size as you can see less size and the more size we made a cylinder and uh, this is the other some option here okay now this object can be modified and uh, we can still retain our um, cylinder cylinder's basic parameters let me show you what I mean just go to the modifier list or you can just do that in by here just go to the modifiers and there are a lot of modifiers uh, that uh, in 3ds Mac that we can use there are converted by categories for example animation has its own modifiers the cloth modifier here and for we will all discuss these things in our videos so for now i am just uh, looking for the band we can select it here and uh, select the object we can also do that thing here in that panel too so you can see the band now i had applied a modifier on that object named band this is the band modifier and down here this is the cylinder so i can work on both in the band modifier and in the cylinder by itself now band has uh, its own a lot of uh, parameters for example the angle we can set the angle as you can see the direction we can change the direction of the band and the axis for example the x-axis we can bend it into an x-axis the y-axis we can do that as you can see there the z-axis and uh, we can bend it uh, in the angle of uh, both uh, positive and negative z degrees you can see the minus blue and the plus sign so here is the direction we can also go and uh, take uh, a limit effect on that for example we want to uh, a 60 degree so we can do that as you can see in the x-axis y-axis and z-axis now as I said, if, and if you notice in the sketch, for uh, I we have the cylinder by it, but itself. We have pulley command on cylinder. We can change the radius still. As you can see, the modifier is also applied on that object, and we can also still 
modify our cylinder you can change the height you can change the segments as you can see the segments uh, make some more smooth in bending just go into the bend and bend it into a 90 degree and go cylinder as you can see less segments uh, make the object sharp and more segments makes the objects uh, a lot of small cap segments which are not in banding in that case as you can see here so you have the fully command over your cylinder and uh, on the band tool now if uh, you notice one other thing that is we have a plus sign with that band <coughs> Just click on that and you can see there are two options. The one is Gizmo, the other one is Center. So there are, these are some, they are the own features of band. Let me show you what I mean. Just to zoom in. Now click on the Center and click on that Gizmo and as you can see we are changing the center of the banding. That means from the which place the you need to bend your object and this is a very end we can do that by on top in the center and at the end so here is the gizmo gizmo 2 has a pretty much same than the center as you can see here we can change it and can bend it just go to the center and now bend it as you can see we were bending it from the base before but now we are bending it from the center and we can create the shapes you want as you can see what we have created so that are the uses of the band option and the gizmo and the center option of the of this band modifier <coughs> just uh, do that so here is the band and this is a very nice uh, little bulb icon icon there just we can on and off it so what this do it uh, allows us to see our object before and after that's our basic cylinder and uh, as we have we had uh, off the, the light bulb just on the light bulb and that means the pen modifier just applied on it and now we are seeing our object is in the bending mode as you can see just off the bulb and on the bulb you can see the band modifiers effects and uh, as you can see we have a pin pin stack here this uh, select the modifier um, in the stack and that is off so each time when you if you has a lot of modifiers and your stack is full of them just select the modifiers and select the pin option now each time when you select the your object the modifiers just to uh, automatically go to that uh, its own pinned modifier here is the show and result on of our on or off toggle as you can see just let me show you what I mean so when the toggle is uh, in the off mode you can see the actually mo uh, object when we can make it on as uh, you can see the, the modifiers uh, result on that so how much modifiers you, you will have in your stack when you on the toggle there's uh, their own there's own effects uh, will be showing on that we will talk about this uh, toggle on and off button a little bit later too there is another option the delete modifier just select the modifier you want to delete just uh, click on that remove modifier from the stack and as you can see your mod your band modifier has been removed now as i had said you can find the modifiers in that uh, panel and you can also find the modifiers in that modifier list or some of the people call this modifier stack 
but what is the difference between this and that stack? So a lot of uh, different thing is that this molecule is uh, molecule list is uh, alphabetical, so that's more easy and uh, comfortable. That which you molecule you want, uh, that is so easy to find here. For example, we want to sorry for that. We want uh, a band molecule, so just. Uh, click the B on your keyboard and as you can see we have the pen modifier again there so that's a very nice and easy to navigate this modifier stack or modifier list you can also go through these modifiers and the parameter deforms you can set what you want so there are many sources of the different modifiers in 3 stack so let's go and take another one and that names the taper as you can see we have the taper modifier here just click on that and as you can see we have two modifiers on our object the one is taper and the other one is band so when we select the actual cylinder as our toggle is on when we make it off it's the uh, single cylinder by itself so when we, when we toggle this on it's uh, showing the result of a band and the effect of taper too so what is the taper taper is uh, as you can see we can change the shape of that the curve we can make a curve to, from this object we have the primary setting for that so as we had uh, uh, three options in our, in our modifier list we have the taper the band and the cylinder by itself we can still the, the modify our cylinder as you can see here <clears throat> we can change the height of that and uh, again we can also still change and modify this band option the band modifier as you can see and uh, by taper by itself as you can see that so in this kind of modeling this is a very nice and easy way to model any kind of scene we can just uh, click that pin and tag button on or off and that is a very nice and easy way to model your uh, object so this is a very additive list of the modifiers uh, rather than going here and make some undo if we had work on that for example an angle and go here and make some undo for the taper and that is a very <coughs> long procedure but uh, in that kind of modeling that is a very easy and nice to model them so we will discuss all these uh, things, uh, modifiers, uh, these all modifiers uh, in our next videos. So enjoy this.